got 50 people. Oh. Hey, are you starting, bro? Are you starting? Yo, you good, bro? Yo, what? All right, what's going on people? Hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. So earlier I was on Twitter and I was just bored scrolling around as one does, right? And I casually come across a miracle. A missing 17 year old boy from Michigan was seen on Lacey and Clicks' stream yesterday in Miami. This kid has been missing for three months and his case has been put on homicide. So they had already declared this kid to be dead basically because he's been missing for so long. I guess that's just what they do to people who haven't been found for a while. They just assume that they're dead. But yeah, it's rare that you see miracle stories like this pop up on Twitter. So I figured I'd make a, a little investigative video diving into this whole story. It's like, bro, what are the odds that this missing 17 year old from Michigan gets found on a live stream in Miami? This dude really wandered like five states over and just ended up on this live stream. Yeah, we got, we got 50 people. Oh. Hey, are you starting, bro? Are you starting? Yo, you good, bro? Nah, you good? Oh, nah, you off the zaw, huh? You off the zaw. Now, obviously, Lacey's just f***ing around. He's just having fun with this guy. But I did some research on this video, and apparently the kid is schizophrenic. And there's also people speculating if he's off drugs or not in this clip. But I don't know. I can't really tell. But, I mean, as the clip kind of goes on, you can tell he's kind of having a schizophrenic episode or something like that. Something weird. I mean, honestly, I don't even know shit about schizophrenia, so I don't know what's going on with bro in his head. But one thing we know for sure sure is that this kid is schizophrenic it was confirmed by his brother who uh actually dm'd lacy after this live stream happened saying like yo my brother's on your live stream and he's been missing for months that type of dm i guess this missing kid's brother was a fan of lacy or clicks which honestly is like a fucking miracle bro like imagine this from the brother's pov imagine your brother goes missing for three months and he's presumed dead so now you're kind of going through this grieving process but one night randomly you decide to go on twitch and and fire up Lacey's live stream, and then you see your missing brother. Like, I can't imagine how shocked the brother must have been seeing this. Who is this? Yo, wrong dap up, bro. Wrong, wrong hit of oh, dap up. Bro. You got a boss spot? What? Hey, he's clean. Yo, what's good? Let's go, bro. Yes, we're ready to order. Okay. Let's go, bro. Valid. Who is this man? <laughs> this is a. He's a snake, bro. Oh. He's getting the bad angles. Yeah. Throughout the whole entire clip, he kind of just says random stuff at random times, which I'm pretty sure is indicative of a schizophrenic episode. I'm not positive, but one thing I do know about schizophrenic episodes is the people who are going through them are hearing a lot of voices. Facts checked me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's what this dude's going through right now. I mean, even in the clip, you heard them talking about camera angles, and then the missing kid just randomly sidetracks to talking about how God is real. He's getting the bad angles. Yeah. He getting a bad angle? Yo, God is real. Can I do this one? What, what, what Which tells me that he might be going through a schizophrenic episode right now. And honestly, it's kind of crazy that this guy is just like out in Miami just by himself as a diagnosed schizophrenic without his medicine. That's honestly probably pretty dangerous. I personally don't know anybody with schizophrenia, so I don't know like the risks and dangers, but that doesn't sound good. A missing 17 year old with schizophrenia out in Miami just sounds like problems waiting to happen for this guy like for those who have been to miami you know what i'm talking about there's a lot of wild people in the streets of miami like this kid is definitely risking his life on a daily basis if he's out just sleeping on the streets or something okay. what Bro, are you good i'm a spartan no you are not dude show us a, show us an email hit an email hit it hit it hit an email i would all right yeah, if I was in Clicks or Lacey's shoes in this, I would have just expected bro to be drunk, the missing kid. Like, there's no way these two could have known that this is a missing 17-year-old from Michigan in this exact moment. And plus, like, there's a lot of people that are drunk and walk around in Miami. So if I was in Lacey or Clicks's position, my go-to thought would just be, oh, it's just another drunk person. Normal Miami shit. Can I have a cheeseburger? Cheeseburger? With just cheese? Without cheese? With just cheese. American cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah, thank you. How will you let your birthday? Thank you. Yo, thanks. Hey, what's your favorite skin? It's gotta be like the disco, right? Yeah. Yeah, the disco. Hit it. Hit the disco. Hit the disco. How will you let your birthday? Medium. 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 I'm good. 
Yeah, yeah, I want to take the angle of like bros living his life out in Miami so bad. Like, I want to believe that, but this guy's definitely not in his right mind right now, and he's a missing kid. I want to think that this is a good clip, but it's really sad to watch. <laughs> I know there might be one person in the chat that's like, oh, they're so wrong for laughing, but it's like these two had no clue what was going on. And I think anybody in their shoes would feel the same way they did. I know I would because dude definitely seemed off. And now that we have the context for why this guy looked off, uh, it makes a lot more sense. And it's honestly like so f***ing cool that streamers were able to help with this situation. It's so random. But yeah, I'll read a little bit of this article. A 17-year-old Michigan boy missing for about three months has been found safe in Miami thanks to a chance encounter with someone doing a live stream on Twitch. Troy Coleman went missing in May from Mount Morris Township, Michigan, which is about 80 miles northwest of Detroit. Troy did not have medications he takes for mental health problems that his brother Trent described as schizophrenic. Then on the streaming platform, a content creator who goes by the name of Faze Lacey was streaming with a friend known as Clicks last week in Miami. During that stream, Lacey focused on a shirtless boy in green trunks mingling with the crowd. We already saw the clip. A few days later, Lacey found this note in his email. Hello, my name is Trent Coleman and my missing little brother from Michigan was on Clicks and Lacey's stream in Miami. He is not on drugs. Okay, so he was not on drugs at all. So he was most likely just going through an episode. He has been missing for three months and his case was put on homicide in Michigan. But yeah, eventually this kid got found, thank God, and this whole situation is just a miracle. It's so wildly amazing amazing to me. This really goes to show the power of the internet and how it can work in good ways. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. I figured I'd bring this story to you guys. I thought it was interesting. If you want to send me stuff to talk about or react to, then join the Discord. Link is down below. And yeah, with that being said, hope you guys stay positive, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll catch y'all boys tomorrow. Peace.